Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, we're back at Medved Tiger, and guess what I've found? I can't believe it. I've been hunting for one of these for the last week on Medved Tiger. I did a video previously. It was a celebration video for 20,000 subscribers, and we broke that. I'm so happy about that. Thank you, everyone. But in that video, I was starting out looking for a diamond Siberian musk deer. Now this is where we was hunting in the last video from that location. Then I put a tent down in between two ponds, which are very good. All this right hand side seems to be full of animals, these ponds, so make sure you check them out. But I've been having a lot of Siberian musk deer at these areas. But today, at one of the lakes which I've been hunting at regular, I found a level three. So hoping it's not a troll, never shot a level 3 must deer before so I don't know if they troll or not so this is where we are at the minute um, I'm hoping it makes diamond but all these areas we can see the purple I've been hunting these areas there's a lot of bears I found at these uh, areas and I still need a diamond brown bear I thought I actually had one but I haven't got one yet so that's another one to get off Medved Tiger I've come to Medved to get all the diamonds I haven't got off here and that's most of the species which are on Medved Tiger. This area is supposed to be good up the top as well. Can't remember who showed me that, but they were saying uh, go up the top area. There's quite a lot here, but these ponds I've been hopping between are very good. But this is where we're at at the moment, and this is where the level three Siberian musk deer is. There's a lot of brown bear, reindeer. Well, you'll see it in a minute as I walk forward. I've got a two, four, three. That's what we're going to be using. So let's have a look. See if he's here. He should be. He's drinking. I come about 6 a.m. in the morning and it seems to be rampant with animals at this location so make sure you check it out it's really easy as well you just put a tent behind you walk straight out and you can see all across this massive lake now we'll be doing another giveaway in this video so make sure you keep watching and get ready and listen for when I ask the question for the giveaway but as you can see there's lots of animals lots of brown bears drinking it seems to be mainly females at this one. I don't know why, but literally every one is a female. But it's probably about 10 brown bears. It's about 20 reindeers. And it's probably about 8 or 9 musk deers. But there's the level 3. If you're wondering why I'm using this scope, sometimes you can go see a bit further and it helps with spotting. I'm not going to shoot it with the M1. That would not end well. But as you can see, there's lots of animals around this frozen lake. So make sure... You check it out and have a tent at it because it is <laughs> look look how many animals there is so if you're looking for reindeer brown bears or musk deer this is a really good location the snow's coming down and i'm starting to really like medved now like any map if you don't know it it can be a bit daunting sometimes you've got to explore find out where's the good spots um and as you learn that more and more it becomes more fun because you don't have to think about it you don't have to learn about it you already know once you've learned so you can just concentrate on hunting and you start to see where animals come from go from you're learning the map inside out and that does help when you're hunting and looking for animals once you've learned it and like I say so at the start of, of joining a new map learning a new map try not to get discouraged stick at it and you often find that some of these maps you've maybe not hunted on a lot like I haven't with Medved become one of your favorites because you learn it and you know what to do so 6am is when I've been starting yeah I was just looking to see if I've got a must deer caller there isn't actually a must deer caller but there is a must deer scent lure so I haven't got that on but thinking about it it's only straight in front of me so as long as I don't spook it I will check the distance as I go over and when we get close enough to get a nice shot on it I'm going to take a shot with a 243 and hopefully drop it I might try and drop the other one at the side of it because it's quite a nice level 2 just got to creep over and I'm going to use the uh, binos with the rangefinder in just to uh, see if it does move at what sort of distance Flying these little things you notice in the game make you better at the game. So I will often do things like this. I'll check the distance when animals move, spook, how long they spook for, where they go, how far they go. 
once you start to learn these kind of little things in gameplay it does help you do better so by knowing that that must deer is going to spook at say 150 meters you know that in certain situations how to approach it where to approach it from this sort of um, scenario it's quite open here but just imagine if it was a highly vegetated area with lots of bushes and trees and that knowledge be, uh, can really sort of help you out getting the trophy animal the more that you learn pay attention to these details the better you'll do at getting trophy animals in Cora Wild and the Hunter Classic it definitely pays off paying attention to what's going off so what we're trying to do is sort of gauge when an animal will spook and as you can see this is the closest one to me and it's still calm at the minute if that bolted then I'd know roughly see that wild boar is already moving is it going to spook? no it isn't so we've got close enough to take a, a safe close shot I don't want to mess this up this is what I was trying to do I could shoot it from the, over the river but I don't want to risk it and that looks like a clean shot and we've got both of them as well so that's a nice little bonus hopefully they are vitals and we haven't messed them up just making sure there's no diamond brown beers that would make a perfect weekend right on to the giveaway for today's giveaway I'm going to be giving away this very map so I'm giving away Med Red Tiger DLC so if you haven't got it get ready to answer this question there's going to be one of these today I'll be giving away more um, things in the next few weeks so don't worry this if you don't win today there's gonna to be more to be given away in all the videos coming up to Christmas I'm gonna give away a lot of things so today's giveaway question what is my favorite rifle in Call of the Wild the first answer to do that in the comments only of this video will get one copy of Medved Tiger on PLC uh, DLC so it's the first answer chosen by me only one is given away it's the first one in the comments I see what is my favorite rifle in Call of the Wild right is this a diamond Siberian must deer it is yes I'm so happy about that I wanted to get that done that is a biggie as well I think that's max weight so a massive diamond mustard or diamond Siberian mustard that is a beauty look at the choppers on that you wouldn't like that biting in your bum <laughs> it's got some fangs on it diamond Dracula is that what we call it but yeah I'm so happy to get that like I said I've been dodging getting one of these for quite a while it's not took too long really hunted most this week to get one and we ended up getting a diamond reindeer which I needed as well so we've done well on Medved that's two out of the way I got a diamond Eurasian lynx a while ago so they was three I really wanted to get done off this map and I've been dodging for a long while but you can see this is where we are this is the lake that's where my tent is so as you can see there's lots of different need zones for different species around this lake so make sure you check it out I start at six like I've said earlier it is really good for a lot of animals so if you want a bit of quick action and you're not used to hunting on Medved Tiger come and give this lake a look I start normally at 6 a.m. and you have all these species you've just seen around there but today I have sort of come from where we were last video I've basically been going at 6 a.m. checking all out all the little ponds areas and then focusing on the ones I've got the most male must deer at that's what I've been doing this one here on the right there was loads there there's like six or seven and um, hammered that then down to that there where we just found the level three and the diamond Siberian must deer so I was thinking where do I put him and then I thought this room's full that one's full uh, all diamonds rears here's my great one huddle and I was thinking I removed the coaty to make the multi mount the predators multi mount a few videos ago that was sitting just here so I'll put the diamond Siberian must there on this trophy man 
So that's another trophy mount filled up in Seeky Swai Trophy Lodge. We're getting full here and we've got a lot of good trophies. There's still quite a few to get. But let's have a closer look at the fangs on this, which make them uh, sort of mysterious. Uh, their fangs are very big. I don't really know much about them and uh, why they've got big fangs. So I'll have to look into that. Halloween's coming close and that would be the perfect face for Halloween. <laughs> look at that, he's got massive fangs. I wouldn't like that biting on my leg or anywhere else. If you know anything real life about Siberian Mustangs, I'd love to know about it. Drop it in the comments why they've got teeth like that. Uh, just a general, you know what I mean, knowledge about them would be quite interesting. I'll have to look them up. But they do look really great. I like the look of them. And those fangs are unbelievable. Like I say, Halloween's coming up next week. Werewolves for the Hunter Classic. You know I'm on that. I've been looking forward to that for a long time. So we've been after a Diamond Siberian Mustang. Ron's got one finally. Don't forget the giveaway for Medved Tiger DLC. Drop that in the comments. I'm Ron McChew. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.